Hello and welcome to the Electric Bike Report. My name is Pete and this is the new Bulls 650 Evo AM3. This is an all mountain bike. It has uh, nearly six inches of front and rear uh, suspension. That's 150 millimeters. Has the new frame integrated battery from Bosch, the Power Tube 500 right there. Uh, the Bosch Performance Line CX mid drive motor. Uh, Shimano and Magura componentry, um, 2.8 inch wide tires front and rear, KS dropper post, just a lot of really interesting features to really make this just a do-it-all uh, electric mountain bike. So this is an overview video and I'll have the full review for you at electricbikereport.com. So uh, with that, let's take a look at some of the details. So first of all, we'll take a look at the aluminum frame. Uh, this is the AM3 uses a lot of hydroform tubing, and uh, that's all sorts of different tubing shapes and sizes, um, and the way that the tubing has sort of been molded to fit um, to fit you as the rider. You know, providing a good amount of standover clearance at the top tube. Similarly, down at the chain stays, kind of bringing the chain stays in so that uh, you get good heel clearance. Um, but then also, you know, things like integrated the, integrating the Bosch Power Tube 500 battery within the frame here. Just a very clean uh, look overall. Same thing with the Bosch Performance Line CX mid-drive motor, uh, just kind of being aligned with the, um, with the down tube. The suspension kind of pierces through the seat tube area to provide sh shorter chain stays, so you get a nice uh, climbing bike. A lot of good traction on the rear wheel there. So anyways, a lot of really nice details with the frame overall. You've got integrated um, or internal cable routing so that uh, it's a clean look and it also protects the, the cables as it travels through the bike. So uh, yeah, just a lot of good attention to detail overall. Okay, so let's take a look at the new Bosch PowerTube 500 integrated frame battery. This is a really clean look overall. You know, as you zoom out, you can't even really tell there's a battery there. It's just built right into the down tube for, for that clean look, but it's also uh, very well protected by the down tube itself. There's also aluminum um, plating built all around the, the bottom of the battery pack right there. And um, so this is great for the weight distribution because the uh, battery weight is centered in low which is just great for bike handling overall. And then um, <clears throat> this is a 36 volt, 13.4 amp hour. It's nearly 500 watt hours. Okay, so here's a closer look at the battery pack removal. Uh, unlock it with one of the supplied keys. The bike comes with two. Then there's this little safety latch that prevents the battery from fully dropping out. So you have to push that in with your finger there and release the battery fully. It pops out of the down tube like that, and you can see that's the typical Bosch connection point, and you've got the open down tube here. And then uh, here's a look at the, the battery pack itself. There's the charge port on the bottom, um, so you plug the charger into that if you're going to charge the battery off the bike. It also has a battery level indicator during the charge. You can see the uh, aluminum plating that surrounds the battery pack, pretty thick and, and solid uh, aluminum plate. Um, on this side, that there's that safety latch mechanism, and uh, but yeah, overall, um, very clean uh, battery and aluminum plate system. So here is the uh, charger plugged into the side of the bike there, and uh, the Bosch charger itself it takes about four and a half hours to fully charge an empty battery pack, and uh, you get a 50% charge in about two and a quarter hours. So here's a closer look at the Bosch Performance Line CX mid drive motor. This is a 350 watt. Uh, mid-drive system and it uses a torque sensor, cadence sensor, and wheel speed sensor to provide the proportional assist uh, to your pedal power and it really does a nice job of amplifying your pedal power and really blending that pedal assist uh, with your uh, with your pedal power. Um, this is an aluminum bash guard to provide a little extra protection uh, that the bulls uh, supplies there and it's also really cool to see the clean line of how the CX motor has sort of been angled to line up with that uh, down tube where the power tube 500 is. So from the Bosch Performance Line CX mid-drive it powers back to the um, rear cog set which is a Shimano 11 tooth to 46 tooth uh, cog set and uh, this provides a lot of range for just all sorts of different riding. Then uh, the derailleur is a Shimano XT, DRXT, has the uh, clutch system on it so that when you engage the clutch it minimizes the chain slap when you're riding over uh, rough terrain. 
Okay, so let's take a closer look at the rear suspension design. You got 150 millimeters or 5.9 inches of rear suspension travel. They are using the RockShox Deluxe RT rear shock, and uh, the air spring can be adjusted to fit your riding weight and riding style. There's also the damping adjustments and the lockout, and the lockout uh, minimizes the suspension travel if you're you know riding on smoother roads um, versus the open position, which provides the full suspension effect. And uh, you can see the um, pivot points are pretty large and the overall suspension feel is just very smooth and um, just provides a lot of travel at 5.9 inches. So here's a closer look at the RockShox Yari suspension fork. Just like the rear travel, this has 150 millimeters or 5.9 inches of travel. Um, there is a lockout lever here at the top, so if you're riding on smoother roads, you can lock out the front suspension fork. On the other side is where you adjust the air spring to your riding weight and riding style. There's also uh, damping adjustments that you can make to make the fork perform the way you want it to. Um, it's also been sized for the plus size, nearly three inch wide tires. Um, so overall, just a very smooth fork. Okay, let's take a look at the handlebar area here. So first of all, on the left side, we've got the uh, ergonomic uh, grip that has a collar to lock it onto the handlebars for a really solid feel. The Magura uh, MT5 hydraulic disc brake lever, the KS dropper post lever here, so you can uh, drop the post and also raise it by pushing that lever. This is the Bosch Purion display and control pad, so you got information like the current uh, speed, pedal assist level, battery level, and you can change the pedal assist level from off to eco, to tour, to EMTB, to turbo, and then back down again using the minus button here. You've also got information like your uh, trip, uh, trip distance, odometer, and your estimated range based off of the pedal assist level you're in and the uh, train that you've been riding on. Um, a lot of more information on this in the full review. Um, coming over here, this is the Monkey Link stem, which uh, we'll get into a little bit later. The Bulls bars and the um, Shimano XT 11 speed rapid fire shifter and the Magura MT5 hydraulic disc brake lever and the ergonomic grip. So here's a closer look at the Schwalbe Nobby Nick tires. These are 27 and a half by 2.8 inch wide tires. These are considered plus size. And the cool thing about these uh, plus size is that you can uh, run lower uh, air pressure because of the volume of uh, air in the tires. And that allows them to really mold over the terrain that you're riding on. Um, and you just get a ton of traction from these. You can see the RockShox has been sized so that it can handle the 2.8s, but also the 3.0 uh, or three inch wide plus size tires. The same is true for the rear suspension. Um, you can see that the, the clearance there is substantial enough for um, wider tires if you wanted to go that route. So here's a look at the Magura MT5 hydraulic disc brakes. These use 180 millimeter rotors uh, both on the front and the rear and uh, they have a four piston uh, design and these are based off their full MT7 downhill brakes so they provide a lot of power um, and they're really designed for the enduro riding style which fits the AM3 very well. So here's a closer look at the Selle Royale Rampage saddle. It has a fairly narrow profile overall and uh, a little bit of a uh, center relief section, but this is definitely a performance saddle that uh, matches the AM3 really well. So the AM3 comes with the KS LEV Integra dropper post. This is a four inch dropper and uh, dropper posts are great because when you move the saddle down and out of the way, um, it allows you to uh, handle really steep technical terrain well. Um, it's also great for just dropping the seat an inch for when you're uh, carving through the corners because you're getting your, your overall weight just a little bit lower and that makes a big difference. So one of the interesting features of the AM3 is it comes with the Monkey Link system. And this is the Monkey Link stem that uh, allows you to install a front light just below the stem there. It's a magnetic connection that also provides the power for the light that uh, runs off the main e-bike battery. This is the PowerTube 500. And the same will be true for the back of the bike. There'll be an attachment point at the seat tube. Um, so this is a really cool system that uh, you don't have to worry about mounting the lights. It's a quick install and removal and also they run off the main e-bike battery. So one of the nice things about the uh, integrated frame battery is that it allows you to attach a water bottle to the top of the down tube. And uh, this is the Monkey Link magnetic connection point for this Monkey Link water bottle. And the water bottle has uh, that attachment point that as you get it close 
it will uh, magnetically uh, connect right there. And then uh, to remove the, the bottle, just twist it to the right, just like that, and uh, it's off. So um, this is an accessory that you can get for the AM3. All right, so that is the overview of the Bulls 650 Evo AM3 electric mountain bike. You can check out the full review at electricbikereport.com, and that will include a bunch of detailed pictures, specifications, ride characteristics, range test results, pros, cons, and overall thoughts, all at electricbikereport.com.